There it is. Let's click it and see if it plays. Don't worry too much about the yes, iMovie stuff. Yes, we've just got it. In all of its frightening splendour. Uh, my first video podcast is written there. This is my life, poor as it is. Lol. You, of course, would have more than that. Uh, you notice it's now got a, on every page, there is a new menu item that can be changed once again by by um, looking at uh, that word there and changing that. You can rename it, do whatever you want. Uh, and uh, okay, so that's pretty cool. And you could have two or three podcasts, and if you do, um, I've, I've got four on one site, for instance. Now, if you uh, do do that, then all it does is it asks you which podcast you want to put it into. So that's pretty cool. Um, and in fact, you've got to be a bit careful if you want to do a second one. You actually need to create a second podcast first, then do the import in for it to ask you which one it goes into. Otherwise, it just assumes you're plugging it into the same podcast. So, uh, there's a trick for beginners. I think we're ready to publish, aren't we? Um, I don't think there's anything else we need to do. Just click media off. Oh, episode artist. Good God, have I got that? Yes, I have. Got all of that stuff. Got to make sure I get due credit here. Hit the publish button. For publishing, make sure copyright so everything else is okay. I'm going to click don't show this again because of course it is. I'm a lawyer. Do you think I would break the law? It's never happened in the history of man that lawyers have broken the law. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, it's creating an archive and it takes a little while. Publishing will now continue in the background, it says. Um, don't show this again because I don't really want to know. Um, it'll tell me anyway. Now, I'm going to show you here what it looks like once it's published, the podcast, in the site. So we're going to, we've opened up iDisk here. Look in the web folder. Don't forget RSS sites or RSS is from the old i6, uh, sorry, iWeb 6 This one, the sites folder, is one we need to get into. Don't look in the iWeb one because that's the old 06 one again. You'll see that it's there. Dave's test site. There it is, see? It's telling you today at 10.38. Dave's test site. And you notice there, Dave's test site has spaces. And here, Dave's test site has um, hyphens. By the way, you see this little clock face here, There's, if you just see right there, you can actually see the progress of your upload in this clock site just next to your site there. So you've only got a little bit to go there now. Uh, very soon it'll come up. Don't open the folder before it comes up because you won't see what's there. You'll only see what was there before you did it. So go back and wait for that for a second. Come on, you can do it. I'll just take a quick break. Oh no, there it is. Okay, so now it's there. Let's have a look and see what's there. Now in here, we've got Dave's test site. We'll open that up. Now, I've uh, put it so that you can see how big each file is and you can then find out where things are quite easily. Um, now, first of all, there's a new folder here, Podcast. Well, I open that up. Whoops! Double click too many times. Ended up opening index HTML. Uh, see what happens when you do that. Uh, oh, there we are. Dave's test site. Podcast. Let's have a look and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, look at that. Not bad. My first video. More. Come on, come on. Stop being so slow. Um, there we are. Let's play it. Don't worry too much yep. about the iMovie stuff. I'm really just demonstrating. Okay, so that's not too bad. Okay, well, we've accidentally tested that by me clicking too many times. Uh, but that gives you a good idea anyway. There's the index HTML, which is what uh, is uh, the beginning of first page. 
Um, now we've got uh, we've got a folder called podcast here. And we open that up, and in the po podcast we've got here's a number of folders. We've got um, podcast HTML, which is the page that we're looking at. That's the page that we see. We've got media. Um, actually, the inside the podcast page itself. It's interesting that you don't find the files. In other words, the podcasts themselves. But what you do find is the RSS HTML. And the RSS HTML, I'm going to open for you just to show you where things went. Even though I've done stuff on this before, uh, it's worth having a look again. There's the um, what looks like gobbledygook. Don't worry about it too much. You don't need to know a great deal. But it does have things that you could see. Now, this is what um, iTunes comes and uh, grabs to have a look. There's the bit, you know, that's that's a description. That This is this me. Oh, this me all over. You've done well there, Dave. This is me is what it should be. I'll have to go back and change it. Um, about this podcast. Um, there's a whole bunch, or well, there's something to see about this podcast. We could actually have changed that to something we didn't. So it's quite nice to sometimes have a look and see what comes up. Uh, and you'll see that all of these bits from here to there pertain to the main podcast itself, to the pod, you know, the whole, all the podcasts, if you like. But once you get to item, see this bit here? This bit, this item tells it now, oh, here's a specific podcast. This is the general bit about it all, um, where it's located, and this is the bit about the specific podcast. Uh, this is my life, poor as it is, for instance, is there. Um, and, and sometimes you'll find, for instance, some of the podcast tracking programs ask you to make a change to thing, things like this, the enclosure URL, and you have to make a change to that. Um, you can do that, no problems, with 08. Um, just have a look at uh, the entries I've got for A6, which are exactly the same for 08. Uh, if you want to change RSS files, there's no difference, except the location of the RSS file itself. You'll notice things like um, uh, iTunes Explicit, uh, iTunes Author, iTunes Duration is there, it tells you how long it's going to go for, iTunes Subtitle and Summary. Although these are always exactly the same, and I've never been able to find a tag uh, on iWeb that that allows you to change these to be anything other than the same. They should be different, uh, but I uh, don't know what it is that does it. Okay, so if you know, tell me, because I don't. Okay, last thing is to find where it is uh, that the podcast is kept itself. And we noticed there was, when we looked at the podcast folder, there was a folder inside podcast that said media. Um, see there's one here that says media but there's another folder here called media which is the big folder that keeps the media for the whole site um, and when that opens up eventually which it will do he says hopefully and there we are um, what we've got is a whole range of different things none the least of which is oops a six megabyte file called podcast one and remember that one podcast one m4v podcast one m4v see only now it's it's uh, what we've done is we've added to the m4v uh, music soundtrack and the rest that's where it all is that's how easy it is to do a video podcast so I hope you feel confident and competent about that um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Please feel free to donate money to me if you feel so inclined. I have uh, I only ask two dollars a year. Um, if I got that from all of my listeners, I would be a poor man, and uh, that would be good. Uh, so um, just to help me with the bandwidth and so forth, because these are fairly lengthy and uh, take a lot of time. Okay, now take care, and I'll see you in the next series.